morning and good Sunday morning to everyone and certainly uh, today is going to feature a much different day than yesterday. It's warmer. We're going to have more clouds and even the chance for a few scattered showers possible later on this afternoon and this evening and a tricky temperature forecast the next few days. We're going to have a front that's going to be draped across our region a chance for a couple of showers uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We can always use the rain. We're a little bit below normal in the rainfall department. We're starting off milder, a good 10 degrees warmer than we were yesterday morning at this time, anywhere from 50 Torrington to 54 in Chester, 52 Groton, 48 Willimantic and 53 in Putnam. We have a bit of a wind out of the south now and southwest that's ushering in that milder air. Take a look at the temperature across the nation. You can see all this warm air from San Antonio working all the way up to Minneapolis and then draping down across the nation's capital. We're on the cooler side. We're just starting to get into some milder air. And this dividing line between the warm air to the south, cold air to the north, uh, will be the focal, the focus point of uh, fronts, the jet stream flow, and the chances for showers. And again, you can see off to the south, it's milder. To the north, it's colder. Pretty much what uh, you expect, actually, in April and May. And uh, taking a look at the whole nation here, you can see an area low pressure, some moisture coming out of the Gulf, uh, rain and showers out in the west, and again, going up and over the jet stream and with those showers rolling on by. And so we focus here and we're watching some showers here in the Great Lakes and they're going to be moving in our direction with the front that's going to be kind of laying across the area. Why is it going to be tricky with the temperatures? Because if the front stays to our north, we're much warmer. If it's overhead, it's clouds and cooler. If it goes off to the south, we're on the cool side. Right now, we're in the in between. So let's take a look at the temperature forecast this afternoon. Uh, there is one computer model that wants to bring this up, up near 80 degrees, where other computer models are showing 65. So this is the problem we're going to have today, this afternoon. I think we're going to be somewhere in the middle. We're going to have clouds, sun, milder temperatures, and then later on this afternoon, we could have a couple of showers. But notice how a lot of them are now off to the north along that front. Notice how mild it is overnight into tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock, it's 60 degrees, and then look at this, we're back up into the mid-70s, maybe even up near 80. Not much in the way of rainfall till we get to tomorrow night. Here comes that front going back north as a warm front, more showers, and then look at Tuesday afternoon. We do it again, we're a bit cooler in the 60s, and then more scattered showers. Here's the Fox 61 seven-day forecast showing you uh, each day in the afternoon, and especially tomorrow night into Tuesday morning, we get some showers, some more showers on Wednesday. Cooler, though, looks like we'll be on the cooler side of that front. I think the pick of the week will be Thursday. Mix of sun and clouds, temperatures in the 60s. Friday and the Saturday, we we'll have to watch this very carefully. Coastal low could give us some big rains. We'll have to watch that. Uh, Ashley? All right.